In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the fundamentals of control theory, exploring its key concepts, applications, and advanced topics. We'll start by understanding the basic principles of control theory, including system modeling, stability analysis, and control strategies. Then we'll delve into the concept of feedback control, discovering how it enables us to shape and regulate the behavior of systems based on measured output information. Howdy. I'm just some random nude dude sitting in my closet talking to myself. It's also where I celebrate the power of free thinking and encourage bold ideas. As a society, we're often afraid to challenge the norms and think outside the box. But here, I embrace the unconventional. So sit back, relax, and join me on this journey of exploration where we embrace our inner nude dude and push boundaries to discover new perspectives. Before we begin, I'd like to shout out and thank One UI One for this topic idea. New graphic. Love my graphic program. Welcome to this video, where I embark on the exciting journey into the captivating world of control theory. Control theory is a powerful discipline that allows us to understand, analyze, and manipulate the behavior of systems to achieve desired outcomes. Whether it's controlling the movement of robots, optimizing manufacturing processes, or regulating complex systems, control theory plays a vital role in shaping the technologies and systems that surround us. In this video, I'll take you step by step through the fundamentals of control theory providing you with a solid foundation to grasp its concepts. We'll begin by exploring system modeling, where we learn how to mathematically represent the behavior of systems, but without actually using mathematics. We'll delve into stability analysis, uncovering techniques to assess and ensure the stability of control systems. Furthermore, We'll delve into control strategies, discovering different approaches to influence the behavior of a system and achieve desired outcomes. But that's not all. We'll also delve into the concept of feedback control, which is the backbone of control theory. Feedback control allows us to shape and regulate the behavior of systems based on measured output information. By continuously comparing the system's actual behavior with a desired reference, Feedback control algorithms compute appropriate control actions to minimize errors and drive the system towards a desired behavior. As we progress, we'll explore the wide-ranging applications of control theory in various fields, from robotics and manufacturing to aerospace and energy systems. Control theory finds its way into diverse domains, revolutionizing the way we design, operate, and optimize complex systems. We'll discover how control theory enables precise control and coordination of robotic systems, optimizes manufacturing processes for efficiency and quality, and ensures safe and stable flight in aerospace applications. But that's not all. Control theory also finds its place in automotive systems, biomedical engineering, engineering systems, environmental controls, economic systems, and more. Its applications are far-reaching, making a significant impact on countless industries. In addition to the fundamentals and applications, we'll also uncover the advanced topics in control theory. We'll dive into optimal control, where we seek strategies that optimize a specific objective, such as minimizing energy consumption or achieving a desired trajectory. We'll explore robust control techniques, which enable control systems to handle uncertainties and disturbances in a robust manner ensuring stability and performance even in the presence of external factors. We'll also touch upon adaptive control, nonlinear control, hybrid and switch systems, distributed control, networks control systems, and model predictive control. So, whether you're an engineer, scientist, student, or simply someone curious about the inner workings of control systems, this video will provide you with a comprehensive introduction to the captivating world of control theory. We'll cover the foundational concepts, explore diverse applications, and dive into advanced topics that will expand your understanding. Are you ready to embark on this journey of discovery? 
Let's dive into the fascinating world of control theory and unlock the incredible possibilities it offers. Control theory is a fascinating branch of engineering and mathematics that plays a crucial role in understanding and manipulating systems to achieve desired behaviors and outcomes. It provides us with a powerful framework for analyzing, designing, and optimizing the behavior of a wide range of systems, ranging from physical processes and machines to biological systems and even economic structures. At its core, control theory aims to answer fundamental questions about how systems respond to inputs, how they shape their behavior, and how they ensure stability and performance. By developing mathematical models that capture the dynamics and characteristics of a system, control theory allows us to gain insights into its behavior, predict its responses, and design control strategies to achieve specific objectives. Control theory deals with a diverse set of systems, such as industrial processes, robots, aircraft, automobiles, chemical reactions, power grids, biological networks, and economic systems, to name just a few. Regardless of the specific application domain, the principles and techniques of control theory remain applicable, providing a unified approach to understanding and influencing system behavior. The foundation of control theory lies in mathematical modeling. By formulating equations that describe the dynamics of a system, control theorists can represent the relationship between inputs, outputs, and internal states. These models can take various forms, including differential equations, transfer functions, or state of space representations, depending on the complexity and nature of the system under consideration. Once a mathematical model is established, control theorists can analyze the properties and characteristics. Stability analysis is a critical aspect of control theory as it determines whether a system remains bounded and converges to a desired state over time. Controllability and observability analysis assess the ability to steer and observe the internal states of a system respectively. These insights help in understanding the limitations and capabilities of a given system. Feedback control, the central concept of control theory, allows us to shape the behavior of a system based on its output and performance. By continuously measuring the system's output and comparing it to a desired reference, feedback control enables adjustments to the inputs or control signals applied to the system. This closed-loop control mechanism provides a means to regulate and correct deviations, minimizing errors, and achieving the desired performance. Control theory encompasses a wide range of control techniques and strategies, each tailored to specific requirements and challenges. Proportional Integral Derivative Control, or PID control, is a popular and widely used technique that adjusts control signals based on the proportional integral or derivative terms providing a balance between responsiveness and stability. Optimal control methods aim to find control strategies that optimize a given objective, such as minimizing energy consumption or maximizing efficiency. Robust control techniques focus on designing controllers that can handle uncertainties and disturbances, ensuring system stability and performance in the presence of unpredictable factors. Adaptive control techniques enable systems to adjust their parameters and behavior in real time based on changing conditions or system characteristics. Model predictive control involves predicting the future behavior of a system using a model and optimizing the control actions to achieve the desired outcomes. Control theory provides us with a powerful set of tools and techniques to analyze, understand, and manipulate systems to achieve desired behaviors and outcomes. It combines mathematical modeling, analysis, and control strategies to shape and optimize the behavior of systems across a wide range of domains. By applying the principles of control theory, engineers and scientists can develop systems that are stable, efficient, responsive, and robust, leading to advancements in technology, industry, and various fields of study. Control theory is built upon the foundation of mathematical models that captures the dynamics and behaviors of systems. 
These models provide a mathematical representation of how inputs affect the system's outputs and internal states. Understanding these models is essential for analyzing, predicting, and controlling system behavior. Mathematical models in control theory can take different forms depending on the nature of a system being studied. Differential equations are a common representation for dynamic systems, where the rate of change of variables is described as a function of time and the system's current state. Transfer functions are another widely used representation, particularly in the context of linear time invariant systems, or LTI systems. Transfer functions relate the system's output to its input through a ratio of polynomials in the Laplace domain. State space representations provide a compact and versatile way for describing a system's behavior using a set of first-order differential equations. The process of developing mathematical models for control systems involves understanding the underlying physics, dynamics, or relationships governing the system's behavior. This may require a combination of theoretical analysis, empirical data collection, and system identification techniques. Once the model is established, it becomes a powerful tool for studying and manipulating the system. Control theorists analyze mathematical models to gain insights into various aspects of system behavior. Stability analysis is a fundamental consideration in control theory. It involves studying how small perturbances or disturbances in the system's initial conditions or inputs affect its behavior over time. Stability analysis helps determine whether a system will remain bounded and reach a desired equilibrium or trajectory. Stability can be assessed through mathematical techniques, such as eigenvalue analysis, Lyapunov stability analysis, or frequency domain methods. Controllability and observability analysis are essential concepts in control theory. Controllability refers to the ability to steer and manipulate a system's internal states or outputs using control inputs. Observability, on the other hand, deals with the ability to infer or extrapolate the system's internal states or outputs based on available measurements. These properties are crucial for designing effective control strategies and ensuring that the necessary information is accessible for feedback control. Performance analysis is another important aspect of control theory. It involves assessing how well a system meets specific performance criteria or objectives. These criteria include measurements such as speed, accuracy, stability margins, energy efficiency, or disturbance rejection. By analyzing the system's mathematical models and employing performance metrics, Control theorists can evaluate and compare different control strategies to identify the most suitable approach for a given application. In addition to analyzing system behavior, control theory provides tools for designing control strategies to achieve desired objectives. Feedback control is a central concept that uses measured output information to continuously adjust the control inputs and regulate the system's behavior. By comparing the system's actual output with a desired reference set point, feedback control algorithms compute appropriate control actions to minimize the error and drive the system towards the desired behavior. Various control techniques and strategies are employed to design controllers tailored to specific requirements and challenges. Proportional Integral Derivative Control, or PID control, is a widely used technique that adjusts control signals based on proportional, integral, or derivative terms. PID control provides a balance between responsiveness and stability. Optimal control methods aim to find control strategies that optimize a given objective, often by formulating the control problem as an optimization task. Robust control techniques focus on designing controllers that can handle uncertainties and disturbances, ensuring system stability and performance, even in the presence of unpredictable factors. Adaptive control techniques enable systems to adjust their parameters and behavior in real time based on changing conditions or system characteristics. Model predictive control involves predicting the future behavior of a system using a model and optimizing the control actions to achieve desired outcomes. 
Understanding control theory involves developing mathematical models to capture system behavior. Analyzing these models to assess stability, controllability, and observability and designing control strategies to achieve desired objectives. Control theory equips engineers and scientists with a systematic framework to analyze, understand, and manipulate systems, enabling advancements in technology, industry, and various fields of study. Mathematical modeling forms the foundation of control theory, enabling us to describe and analyze the behavior of systems. In this section, we'll explore how mathematical models are developed and how they help us to understand system dynamics and behavior. System modeling involves capturing the essential characteristics of a system in a mathematical representation. It starts by identifying the key components, inputs, outputs, and relationships within a system. Various mathematical tools, such as differential equations, transfer functions, state-space representations, and block diagrams, are used to model different types of systems. By formulating these models, we can gain insights into how the system operates and predict its behavior under different conditions. Linear systems are widely used in control theory due to their simplicity and analytic tractability. These systems exhibit a linear relationship between their inputs and outputs, adhering to the principles of superposition and homogeneity. Linear models are often expressed using linear differential equations or transfer functions, allowing us to analyze their stability, response characteristics, and control strategies using techniques like Laplace transformations and frequency domain analysis. Nonlinear systems encompass a broad range of real-world phenomena that cannot be accurately described by linear models. These systems exhibit complex behaviors, including nonlinear relationships, feedback loops, and nonlinear dynamics. Modeling nonlinear systems typically involves employing techniques like Taylor series expansions, Volterra series, or describing functions. Analyzing and controlling nonlinear systems is more challenging compared to linear systems, as they may exhibit phenomena such as bifurcations, chaos, and multiple equilibria. Nonlinear control strategies such as feedback linearization, sliding mode control, or adaptive control are employed to handle the complexities of these systems. Understanding the response of a system to differentiate inputs is crucial to control theory. By analyzing a system's response, we can assess its stability and performance. Stability analysis involves determining whether a system's output remains bounded over time, even in the presence of disturbances. Techniques like eigenvalue analysis, root locus plots, or Nyquist stability criteria are used to assess the stability of linear systems. For nonlinear systems, Lyapunov stability theory provides valuable insights into stability analysis. By evaluating system stability, we can design control strategies that ensure a system operates reliably and as intended. Control theory employs both time domain and frequency domain analysis to understand system behavior. Time domain analysis focuses on a system's response to inputs and disturbances over time. It includes evaluating parameters such as rise time, settling time, overshoot, and steady state error. Frequency domain analysis, on the other hand, explores the system's behavior in the frequency domain by examining its response to different frequency components. Bode plots, frequency response analysis, and transfer function representation enable us to analyze system dynamics and design appropriate control strategies. Mathematical models and system behavior analysis are essential components to control theory. They provide us with a solid foundation to understand and predict the behavior of diverse systems, enabling us to design effective control strategies. By developing accurate mathematical models and employing appropriate analysis techniques, we can gain insights into system dynamics, assess stability, and optimize system performance. These insights lay the groundwork for further advancements in control theory and its applications in real-world scenarios. 
Feedback control is a fundamental concept in control theory that enables us to shape and regulate the behavior of systems based on measured output information. By continuously comparing the system's actual behavior with a desired reference or set point, feedback control algorithms compute appropriate control actions to minimize error and drive the system towards the desired behavior. The basic principle of feedback control is to close the loop between the system's output and its input. This is achieved by measuring the output of a system using sensors or other measurement devices. The measured output, also known as the feedback signal, is then compared to the desired reference or set point. The error, which is the difference between the measured output and the desired reference, serves as the basis for adjusting control input. The control input is the signal or action applied to a system to influence its behavior. It can take various forms depending on the nature of the system. For example, in a mechanical system, the control input could be the force or torque applied to the motor. In an electrical system, it could be the voltage or current applied to the circuit. The control input can also represent adjustments to parameters, such as the gains or coefficients of a controller. The comparison between the desired reference and the measured output gives rise to an error signal. This error signal is processed by a control algorithm known as a controller, which determines the appropriate control action to be applied to the system. The control algorithm uses the error signal along with any additional information about the system's dynamics or characteristics, to compute the control input that will minimize the error and bring the system closer to the desired behavior. One widely used controller in feedback control is the Proportional Integral Derivative Controller, or PID controller. The PID controller adjusts the control input based on proportional, integral, or derivative terms, which are functions of the error signal. The proportional term provides immediate corrective action proportional to the error. The integral term accounts for accumulated errors over time, and the derivative term anticipates future changes in the error. By tuning the gains in the PID controller, engineers can strike a balance between responsiveness and stability to achieve the desired system performance. Feedback control offers several advantages. Firstly, it allows systems to adapt in response to changing conditions or disturbances. By continuously monitoring the system's output, feedback control can detect any deviations from the desired behavior and promptly make corrections. This adaptive nature of feedback control makes it robust against uncertainties or variations in system dynamics. Secondly, feedback control enables systems to achieve desired performance objectives. By continuously adjusting the control input based on the feedback signal, feedback control algorithms can minimize errors, improve tracking accuracy, and ensure stability. This ability to regulate a system's behavior is particularly valuable in applications where precise control is required, such as robotics, manufacturing processes, or autonomous vehicles. Furthermore, feedback control provides a means to handle uncertainties and disturbances. External disturbances, noise, or variations in system parameters can affect the behavior of a system. Feedback control algorithms can actively counteract these disturbances by continuously adjusting the control input to maintain the desired behavior. It's important to note that designing effective feedback control systems involves considerations such as controller stability, robustness, and performance trade-offs. Control theorists employ various analysis techniques, such as frequency response analysis, root locus analysis, or Nyquist stability criteria, to assess the stability and performance characteristics of feedback control systems. Feedback control is a fundamental concept in control theory that allows us to shape and regulate the behavior of systems based on measured output information. By continuously comparing the system's actual behavior with a desired reference, 
Feedback control algorithms compute appropriate control actions to minimize errors and drive the system towards the desired behavior. Feedback control enables systems to adapt, achieve performance objectives, and handle uncertainties, making it a crucial tool in various fields, including robotics, manufacturing, and automation. Control theory finds its applications in a wide range of fields, providing solutions for complex systems across various domains. By leveraging the principles and techniques of control theory, engineers and scientists can design systems that maintain stability, optimize performance, and achieve specific objectives. Let's explore some of the key applications of control theory. Control theory plays a vital role in robotics enabling precise control and coordination of robotic systems. Feedback control algorithms are used to control the movement and manipulation of robot arms, ensuring accurate positioning, path following, and object manipulation. Control theory also addresses challenges related to stability, robustness, and real-time decision-making in autonomous robots. Control theory is essential in manufacturing processes where precision, efficiency, and quality are critical. Control systems are employed to regulate variables such as temperature, pressure, flow rates, and chemical concentrations in industrial processes. By maintaining tight control over these variables, control theory helps optimize production, reduce waste, and ensure consistent product quality. Control theory plays a crucial role in aerospace applications, including aircraft, spacecraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs. Flight control systems utilize feedback control algorithms to stabilize aircraft, adjust control surfaces, and ensure safe and stable flight. Control theory also addresses challenges such as trajectory tracking, navigation, and aircraft stability under varying operating conditions. Control theory is integral to automotive systems, enabling improved vehicle performance, safety, and fuel efficiency. It's used in engine control units to optimize fuel injection, ignition timing, and emissions control. Control systems are also employed in anti-lock braking systems, electronic stability control, and adaptive cruise control to enhance vehicle stability and comfort. Control theory finds extensive applications in process control, where it ensures efficient and reliable operation of chemical plants, refineries, and power generation facilities. Control systems monitor and regulate variables such as temperature, pressure, flow rates, and composition to maintain optimal process conditions, maximize efficiency, and minimize energy consumption. Control theory is utilized in biomedical engineering for various applications, such as physiological control, medical devices, and prosthetics. Feedback control systems are employed to regulate vital parameters like heart rate, blood pressure, and glucose levels. Control theory also aids in the development of prosthetic limbs and exoskeletons, enabling natural and coordinated movements. Control theory plays a crucial role in engineering systems, including power grids, renewable energy generation, and smart grids. Control systems are used to regulate power flow, maintain voltage stability, and maintain energy storage devices. Control theory enables efficient integration of renewable energy sources, optimal utilization resources, and grid stability. Control theory contributes to environmental control systems such as HVAC systems, building automation, and energy efficient buildings. Control systems optimize energy usage, maintain indoor comfort, and improve energy efficiency by dynamically adjusting parameters like temperature, airflow, and lighting based on occupancy and environmental conditions. Control theory finds applications in economic systems, such as financial markets, supply chain management, and resource allocation. Control techniques are employed to optimize resource allocation, manage inventory levels, and regulate market dynamics. These are just a few of the examples of the wide-ranging applications for control theory.
In essence, control theory provides the foundation for understanding, analyzing, and manipulating systems to achieve desired behaviors and outcomes, making it a critical discipline in engineering, automation, and various scientific domains. Control theory encompasses a wide range of advanced topics that delve deeper into the analysis and design of control systems. These topics build upon the foundational concepts of control theory and provide more specialized techniques for addressing complex control problems. Let's explore some of these advanced topics. Optimal control theory focuses on finding control strategies that optimize a given objective, such as minimizing energy consumption, maximizing efficiency, or achieving a desired trajectory. It involves formulating the control problem as an optimization task and finding the control inputs that minimize or maximize the defined cost or performance function. Optimal control techniques, such as dynamic programming, Pontryagin's minimum principle, and calculus of variations, provides powerful tools for solving these optimization problems. Robust control deals with designing controllers that can handle uncertainties and disturbances in a system. Real-world systems often exhibit variations in their parameters, unmodeled dynamics, or external disturbances. Robust control techniques aim to ensure system stability and performance, even in the presence of these uncertainties. Methods such as H-infinity control, mu synthesis, and robust modeling predictive control enable the design of controllers that can accommodate a wide range of uncertainties, providing robust performance guarantees. Adaptive control techniques enable systems to adjust their parameters and behaviors in real time based on changing conditions or system characteristics. These techniques are particularly useful when the dynamics or parameters of a system vary over time or are uncertain. Adaptive control algorithms continuously estimate the system's parameters and adapt the control strategy accordingly to achieve desired performance. Parameter estimation techniques, adaptive controllers, and adaptive observers are key components of adaptive control systems. Nonlinear control theory deals with systems that exhibit nonlinear dynamics, where the relationship between inputs and outputs is not necessarily linear. Nonlinear systems often arise in various engineering applications, such as aerospace, robotics, and chemical processes. Nonlinear control techniques, including sliding mode control, backstepping, and nonlinear model predictive control, are used to stabilize track trajectories, and regulate the behavior of nonlinear systems. Hybrid and switch systems combine continuous and discrete dynamics, where the system behavior switches between different modes or operating conditions. Control theory for hybrid and switch systems addresses the challenges of modeling, stability analysis, and control synthesis for these systems. Techniques such as hybrid automata Reachability analysis and supervisory control play a crucial role in designing controllers for hybrid and switch systems. Distributed control focuses on systems where multiple agents or subsystems interact and cooperate to achieve a common objective. Examples include distributed sensor networks, multi-agent systems, and decentralized control architecture. Distributed control theory considers communication constraints, coordinated algorithms, and decision-making mechanisms to design control strategies that enable efficient and scalable cooperation among the distributed components. Network control systems involve control systems where communication between sensors, controllers, and actuators occurs over a network. These systems introduce challenges such as communication delays, packet losses, and limited bandwidth, which can affect control system performance and stability. Networked control theory addresses these issues and develops control strategies that can handle the constraints imposed by the network infrastructure. 
Model predictive control is a control strategy that involves predicting the future behavior of a system using a mathematical model and optimizing the control actions to achieve the desired outcomes. MPC takes into account constraints on the system's variables, control inputs, and operational objectives to generate control actions. It's widely used in various applications, including process control, robotics, and autonomous vehicles. These advanced topics in control theory cater to specific challenges and requirements in diverse applications. By leveraging these techniques, engineers and researchers can tackle complex control problems, optimize system performance, and handle various uncertainties and constraints, paving the way for advanced control systems in real-world applications. Implementing a control system involves translating the design control strategies into practical applications. In this section, we'll delve into the practical considerations and challenges associated with control system implementation, addressing key aspects of hardware and software integration, real-time control, and system deployment. The selection of hardware components plays a crucial role in control system implementation. It involves choosing sensors to measure system states and variables, actuators to exert control inputs, and appropriate signal conditioning devices for accurate data acquisition. Factors such as accuracy, speed, range, and compatibility with the control system architecture should be considered when selecting hardware components. Control systems often rely on software to execute control algorithms and communicate with hardware components. The software implementation can involve developing code for microcontrollers, programmable logic controllers, or specialized control platforms. It requires translating the control algorithms into programming languages compatible with the chosen hardware and ensuring efficient and reliable execution of control logic. Integrating sensors and actuators with the control system is critical for data acquisition and actuation. This involves connecting sensors to measure system variables accurately and reliably, and interfacing actuators to deliver control signals to the plant. Proper calibration, signal conditioning, and interface design are essential to ensure compatibility and optimal performance between the control system and the physical components. Many control systems operate in real time, requiring timely and accurate control actions. Real-time control involves executing control algorithms within specific time constraints to maintain system stability and performance. This may require employing real-time operating systems, scheduling algorithms, and control hardware with fast processing capabilities to meet the required control loop update rates. Control systems are often part of larger interconnected systems, necessitating integration with other subsystems or networks. System integration involves ensuring seamless communication and data exchange between the control system and other components or systems. This can involve protocols such as Modbus, Profibus, or Ethernet IP, and may require interfacing with supervisory control and data acquisition systems or higher level control platforms. Deploying a control system involves installing, configuring, and testing the system in its intended environment. This includes physical installation of hardware components, software setup and configuration, network connectivity, and calibration of sensors and actuators. System deployment also involves performing functional tests, verifying system performance, and addressing any issues or discrepancies that arise during the deployment phase. Control system implementation requires careful attention to hardware selection, software development, integration of sensors and actuators, real-time control considerations, system integration, and successful deployment. Proper implementation ensures that the design control strategies are effectively executed, enabling the control system to achieve its intended objectives in real-world applications. By addressing the practical aspects of control system implementation, engineers and practitioners can ensure that the control system operates reliably, 
optimizes system performance, and meets the desired control objectives in various industrial manufacturing and automation settings. Control theory tools and software play a crucial role in the design, analysis, and implementation of control systems. In this section, we'll explore some of the popular tools and software packages used in control theory, highlighting their features, capabilities, and applications. MATLAB is a widely used mathematical software package that provides a comprehensive environment for control system design and analysis. Simulink, an extension of MATLAB, offers a graphical interface for modeling and simulating dynamic systems. It provides a vast library of pre-built blocks and functions, enabling users to easily construct and simulate control system models. Python, a versatile programming language, offers various control theory libraries, including SciPy, NumPy, and Control. These libraries provide functions and modules for system modeling, analysis, and simulation. Python's flexibility and extensive community support make it popular among control system practitioners. MATLAB's Control System Toolbox provides a comprehensive set of tools for control system design, analysis, and tuning. It offers functions for designing controllers, analyzing system response, and optimizing control system performance. The toolbox includes techniques such as root locus, frequency response analysis, pole placement, and optimal control. Simulink Control Design is a powerful tool for control system design and tuning within Simulink's environment. It provides graphical interfaces for designing PID controllers, model-based control, and robust control algorithms. Simulink Control Design also offers features for system identification and model validation. LabVIEW is a graphical programming environment widely used for control system design and implementation. It offers a comprehensive set of tools for system modeling, data acquisition, and control algorithm development. LabVIEW's intuitive interface allows engineers to design and deploy control systems rapidly. LabVIEW Real-Time and NIVeristand, tools from National Instruments, provides a platform for real-time control system implementation. These enable the development and deployment of control algorithms on dedicated real-time hardware targets. LabVIEW Real-Time and Veristand support HIL simulation, allowing engineers to test control systems within simulated or physical plant models. Control Desk is a powerful software tool for HIL simulation in real-time control system implementation. It offers a user-friendly interface for configuring and controlling real-time hardware, monitoring system variables, and analyzing control system performance. Control Desk supports integration with various hardware platforms and provides extensive data visualization capabilities. Program logic controllers are commonly used in industrial control applications. They offer a robust and reliable platform for implementing control strategies in manufacturing, automation, and process control systems. PLC programming languages such as ladder logic or structured text are used to develop control logic. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems, or SCADA systems, provide a centralized control platform for monitoring and controlling distributed control systems. SCADA software offers features for real-time data acquisition, visualization, and control system management. These are just a few of the examples of control theory tools and software widely used in the field. The choice of tools and software depends on the specific requirements, preferences, and application domains. It's essential to explore and select the most suitable tools that meet the needs of the control system project at hand. By leveraging control tools and software, engineers and researchers can enhance their control system design process, accelerate development cycles, perform comprehensive analysis, and implement robust and efficient control strategies in various industrial and automation applications. 
Control theory gives us the ability to analyze, understand, and manipulate systems to achieve desired behaviors. It's a fundamental pillar in engineering and automation, empowering us to create stable, efficient, and high-performing systems across various industries. And that concludes our exploration of the captivating world of control theory. We've covered the fundamental principles, applications, and advanced topics, providing you with a comprehensive overview of this fascinating discipline. Control theory offers us the tools and techniques to understand, analyze, and manipulate the behavior of systems, enabling us to achieve desired outcomes and optimize system performance. Throughout this video, we've learned how control theory plays a vital role in various fields, from robotics and manufacturing to aerospace and energy systems. Control theory empowers us to design precise control systems, regulate complex processes, and ensure stable and efficient operation in a wide range of applications. It opens up endless possibilities for innovation and improvement, driving technological advancements across industries. We've explored advanced topics in control theory, such as optimal control, robust control, adaptive control, nonlinear control, hybrid and switch systems, distributed control, network control systems, and model predictive control. There's a lot of control there. These topics cater to specific challenges and requirements, equipping us with specialized tools to handle uncertainties, optimize performance, and achieve remarkable control, even in the most complex scenarios. Control theory continues to evolve and find applications in emerging fields, such as autonomous vehicles, artificial intelligence, smart cities, and healthcare systems. As technology progresses, control theory will play an increasingly crucial role in shaping the future of intelligent and interconnected systems. So whether you're an engineer, scientist, student, or simply someone with a curious mind, I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into the world of control theory. I encourage you to further explore the topics we've discussed, dive into the mathematical foundations, and continue discovering the latest advancements in this dynamic field. Remember, control theory is not just a theoretical concept. It's a powerful tool that empowers us to shape the world around us, optimize processes, enhance efficiency, and improve the overall quality of our lives. As we continue to push the boundaries of technology and innovation, control theory will remain at the forefront, guiding us towards a future of smarter, more sophisticated, and more efficient systems. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this video informative and thought-provoking. This is the point at which others tell you, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content just like this. But we all know that that kind of thing is for losers. Don't be a loser. And as always, I welcome your feedback and ideas for future videos in the comments section below. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep embracing your inner nude, dude. And one more time, I want to thank one UI1 there for the idea for this video.